So how do you create more revenue for your videos? And I wanna talk about that today. I'm actually a business professor and I've been doing this whole YouTube thing for many, many years. I have thousands of videos out at this moment and I wanted to talk to those people that are specifically thinking about how to actually create more revenue for the videos. So the biggest thing that you can do is actually to just create more videos. At the end of the day, that's really it. You are creating some sort of community that's out there. And what you have to do, there's a really important business decision that we all make that we have to think about. And it's this real big trade-off that we make. And that is how we are today compared to where we are in the future. Now, if you start taking money away today from your the value that you're actually creating today by extracting value in some sort of way that is going to remove your potential from growing in the future so if you think about hey why didn't i think about expanding my network and at this moment it's maybe not going to be doing as well right so you expand your community it's not producing as much revenue as you like you're making this trade-off thinking about how can i actually get there in years and years and years from now. And I know that's not what you wanna hear, but this trade-off is a very, very important business decision that everybody gets wrong. And I talk about this a lot in class where I talk about the trade-off that you actually make in investing. And everybody thinks that in a long time horizon is 10 years. I want you to think about 15, 20, 30 years of a time horizon and see what it would actually be at that moment. If you do this in a regular investment plan, you will have enormous amounts of money. And so it's thinking about the same sort of thing that you would do as if you were investing, but you're investing in what your community you're investing in who you are at that you're investing in this larger branching community that um, is evolving over time and so if you try to extract value right now it's likely not going to grow as quick now the other thing that you can possibly do and this is really easy to actually gain more revenue is to lean in to possible revenue sources today and what do i mean by that well actually physically call people and ask them if they want to actually advertise on your channel and start doing sort of the grunt work the challenging stuff that everybody finds difficult right where you actually call people up and you say hey would you like to advertise on my channel and guess what it's going to be like a thousand people are going to get rejected uh, or they're going to reject you but there's you're going to find one person and one particular company that is likely to invest in your particular channel and that's what it takes, right? It's this long grinding process. You can either focus on developing your um, the, the quality of what you're actually doing. That's a hard thing to do, to put your fingers on what quality actually is. But you can also, on the other side, focus on building a bigger network by putting out more videos and different platforms and just doing that repeatedly. Now, the problem is, is that at this moment, it's going to be very hard for you to make money. I'm going to be just upfront about that. The revenue that you generate in the moment, if you're thinking about this right now, is going to be difficult to sort of escalate it. But if you invest in quality things and do quality things by investing in you know repeatedly doing this over and over and over again and focusing as much as you possibly can on doing quality not being scared of anything and just repeatedly doing that it does eventually work out and i hate to be that kind of person that sort of points in that direction to sort of amorphous like you know no solutions or anything like that but that's the key is to keep going and not to give up and repeatedly doing this over and over and over again until something happens and it takes a long time and it takes a great deal of effort now you wouldn't if you were to talk to somebody that was learning a language right you would talk to a three-year-old you wouldn't rush rush them to learn that language you would realize that this process takes a long time right you'd realize that hey this person's not going to learn something it's going to take basically from one years old to seven years old to actually learn this thing and so you should expect something reasonable with what you're actually doing right now so if you're to do it repeatedly over and over and over again to grow your channel generate revenue um, expect that it's probably going to take 5 10 
15 years by the time you actually are generating just a little bit that you could see some value there. And then you can keep going and reinvesting over and over and over again until it actually turns into something. It's a long haul strategy, but it works. That's what business is about. It's this long, tedious thing. Now, the other thing that you have to think about is how do you balance what you're doing right now, right? So that's where you need to think of this as um, your your art, your, your thing that you're enjoying, and it's all encompassing, right? It's the thing that you love to do, but um, you're going to do it every single day, and you just do that every day, passionately and nonstop until something actually happens.